Hi everyone, Polar Sights and Signals. Um, today I want to do a video on another thing I have up in my room. Um, I just put this up uh, the other day. I'm really happy about it. This is a traffic light that is uh, mounted on my wall. And this, of course, like my street lights, is just uh, my little fun wall decoration. It's uh, kind of tall. And it's a little unique. Um, because it uh, has a blue uh, traffic light lens, and this is actually, I think, a traffic light lens. We'll talk about that in a moment, but yeah. Um, this signal is, uh, let me see who it's made by. It's a pretty new signal. But it's uh, made by, uh, like I said, uh, Indicator uh, Control Corp. I have no idea who that company is, um, and if they even still make signals. But, uh, yeah, um, this signal I got off of Facebook Marketplace, and when I saw it, I saw it had this blue, uh, 8 inch lens, and I actually got really excited, I'm like, I've never even seen something, uh, like this before. Of course, you know, right off the bat, I could definitely tell the signal was pretty new, so, um, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be, like, glass or anything, it's not, it's, uh, plastic, but, uh, yeah, I was just shocked, I'm like, I never even knew they made such a lens, but yeah, they do, I guess, or they did, or I don't know if they still do or not, but yeah, um, I bought it, um, because it's, uh, blue, green, yellow, and red, so all the colors of the rainbow, and I thought it'd be fun to, uh, get it and just hang it up on my wall, and, uh, I guess that's really it. Um, I do want to put, uh, some type of, uh, thing inside it so it can do a flicker, like, uh, like a party mode type flash, like, uh, my Durasig here. But, um, I haven't really found one yet for, uh, four lamps, so, um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet, but for now it's up and, uh, hooked up, and I'll go ahead and show you, uh, just what I got. Um, I just got a cord going down to an outlet, goes up into this, uh, wall mold box. Um, I don't want to use a switch, I'm gonna put this really cool vintage, uh, rare, uh, Leviton switch with the, uh, it's a white one with the brown border. Um, I don't know if you guys really know about Ellison switches. Uh, there's collectors out there that know about that stuff, but I do collect that type of crap. But I want to put that in and just get rid of this standard switch. But yeah, if you flip it up, uh, the wiring here goes up into the tube. And uh, this is actually a traffic light bracket, and so is the one on top. But the pipe uh, going out of it and then the back plate on the wall is... Uh, I had to buy that at the store. But yeah, once that's on, you can see it's uh, completely lit. The blue on camera just kind of actually appears uh, more of a blue than it should. In real life, it kind of looks like a really light blue. <laughs> um, if you guys have seen, like, pedestrian signals with the walk, uh, the walk does appear a little bit lighter than it actually does when it's off. Um, I don't know if the light just gets through the blue color, but, yeah, it's uh, definitely a, a little bit more of a true blue on camera. For some reason, in real life, it's not. It should be the opposite, but, yeah. Of course, the green, yellow, and red look as normal as they usually do. Let me kind of stand back. But yeah, um, of course at nighttime it'd light up my wall. It's uh, daytime right now. But yeah. Um, now, as nice as this uh, signal does appear, um, I will say, and I'm not really actually too impressed with it. So, uh, Indicator uh, Control Corps, uh, Corporation, I, I don't know if they, uh, how long they've been around, but this plastic signal they made is really, really bad. Um, I was disappointed when I found out. Uh, apparently, uh, Lexalite definitely has some play. Uh, Lexalite, I know, actually makes refractors for street lighting stuff. Um, they did some stuff for American Electric and uh, Westinghouse, but uh, apparently the, they had something to do with the making of this signal. Um, these lenses are Lexalite, and I'll show you in a sec, but uh, plastic on it. Um, you see there's some rough corners um the mold really is not bad because i mean you can see uh, they got the lexalite logo printed on here i do actually appreciate that i really love seeing logos like that it's just eye candy uh, more eye candy to look at but yeah you can see unfinished cut plastic um you know to get these visors off it's a one-time clip-in system and when I got this signal, they were actually flipped to the side, so this was like a sideways signal. I had a real pain trying to take these off. Um, the plastics 
all right too but again it's just these sharp corners i'm gonna have to take some sandpaper to that the overall design you know it's pretty basic too you got some standard cutaway visors and all you really got is just a trapezoid back you know nothing fancy um i will say though um the housings do have kind of a one-time connection where i mean you can push the tab back but the housings can actually interlock together too before you even like put bolts so i guess that's kind of nice but yeah the visor's a one-time connection you can see uh, these are the clips on the corner here that hold it together they are bad and i'm going to show you another thing and this is something i've noticed throughout the whole signal um to get into the signal uh, all you gotta do is uh, just undo these wing nuts here. I believe this is a polycarbonate signal, but it feels more like it's acrylic plastic. Crap. <laughs> not a fan of acrylic. It's not the best plastic in the world. I'm not gonna open uh, all these because, again, like I said, it's really cheap and they're the same. But uh, here's the inside of the door. It kind of just got foam in here and it just kind of sits. It's really not probably insulating much. But uh, yeah, and the lens, the only way to get the lens out is to bend this plastic back. These plastic tabs, oh, you see that one broke. But this one broke because they're, you can't really bend them. It's like I said, it's a one-time connection. And you know, that's really frustrating because if this lens or one of the lenses on here were to get damaged, how in the hell are you gonna replace it easily? Because I mean, if you think about it, you know, you gotta kind of pry everything out. If you break, you know, one or more of these tabs off, or, or excuse me, like two or more of them off, the lens is not gonna stay in and you're not gonna have the screw in tabs or anything else to hold it down. So, you know, it's it's really just garbage at that point. But yeah, um, I tried to be careful. Um, I did not break this one off. Um, this one was already broken. The blue, green, and red already had one broke, but the yellow didn't have one broke, but I broke one trying to take it out so I see why the others were broke but anyway yeah moving on into it uh, you can see the reflector here this is all plastic again and I know it looks nice and pretty and reflective but when you go to the back yeah you can kind of see it's just one of those uh, I don't really know what this kind of paint is that makes it me have a mirror effect but it's like that mirror paint you know all plastic um, this is how the socket goes and it just has one of those uh, spring clip down connections and you can you know undo it so you can spin it and make your adjustments um, to get the reflector out all you got to do is pull up on that and then you actually got to straighten that because you can see there's kind of a tab that has to align so you can lift it up correctly and then you know from there once you get that off of that you can pull it down but it's really impossible and the reason why I can get it, there we go, is, again, the really cheap plastic. Oh, jeez, this thing doesn't ever want to focus. So you'll focus on the lamp. I'll just back it up a bit. This is an HD camera. You can just see pieces of unfinished plastic, and that actually makes this too big to fit in the hole. So it kind of sucks balls a little bit. But uh, I know a couple of the ones I had to do, I think it was like the red and yellow. Uh, they had a lot of plastic just hanging off the edges where they didn't really trim it down. And oh my gosh, it was absolutely impossible to get it out. So yeah. Um, the terminal block in there uh, actually just sits on some plastic knobs, so you actually can pull it right out. I'm not really a huge deal, that's really not going anywhere. Uh, the blue is labeled as brown. I, I think that's a, there's a good reason for that. But uh, the other ones have the uh, correct coloring. Uh, the wiring is not really bad at all. The wiring's pretty nice, and so is the terminal block. Actually, the terminal block's not bad. The signal has a. If anyone can tell me what this type of bracketing system is, please do, because I really don't know, and I've tried to look it up and I just can't find it. But um, this signal has uh, the modules connected together. Uh, permanently with uh, that bracketing system so uh, pretty cool of course I really can't reach up there any higher right now because I got my big chair in the way so um, I'm just gonna not show you guys the rest and really there's no point in looking at the rest it's really all the same oh my gosh and that's another thing too if you don't have the wiring in here right let's see we'll do it again if you got the thing pushing out it won't it won't hold 
won't go in and clip down. So let me try again. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Why is it doing this? There you go. You want it to clip in like that. And the wiring's, of course, not in the right spot, but whatever. So, yeah, and actually, real quick, I do want to talk about the uh, lens. The lens is pretty good. Um, it actually is a really nice polycarbonate. Um, of course, since I can't get it off, I'm going to have a hard time showing you, but you can see where it says top. And then uh, over to the side here, it just has the wattage ratings, uh, 116 uh, for uh, regular usage, and then for intermittent, uh, 69. I don't know if I could find where it says it. Oh, I don't know if it really says it on this one, but it should. I don't know, I really can't find it, but this is a Lexalite lens. Uh, it's really good, actually. Uh, this is probably the best part, really, of the signals, the lens. Um, I didn't know a Lexalite made blue. I'm guessing Lexalite probably made products outside the U.S., so uh, blue might have been something used in a different country. But um, yeah, and I believe this signal actually was a custom order because this signal, I mean, everything looks like it was meant to go together this way. Um, I, I don't think this was really ever in service. I think this was a custom order signal, and I really hope that there weren't any of these in service because the signal is really bad. So, yeah, at least for, like, indoor use or, like, you know, for my purpose, um, this signal really is fine. Um, now it's up on the wall, you know, and once I get a little thing in it, I'm not really going to be touching it anymore. It's not like I have to maintenance this thing. So, yeah. Um, again, I can turn it on. Um, you really can't, uh, you can't see it. Um, I do have filament LEDs in here, and the reason why... And I, I mean, I, I don't know what kind of lamps was in this signal when it was, you know, doing its thing. But I got these filament LEDs, and you can see they actually work really good. Or, excuse me, really well. Um, I know it has a weird taper, but it still works for the reflecting. So the reflecting, and it's not really doing it much on camera, but it's blinding me like crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> Definitely a... Uh, Definitely good lamps, but I got filaments in this, uh, not because I'm saving money on my electric bill, but uh, whoever had the lamps, previous lamps in here, um, the lamps were actually charring and ch making the paint chip on, I think it was on the amber, uh, so the plastic can't even actually handle the heat. The bulbs that were in here, uh, they were incandescent, they were really low wattage, and oh my gosh, it just... It can't even hit the reflector can't even handle probably above like 20 watts incandescent so yeah it kind of sucks the lenses can but uh not the not the actual reflectors so yeah anyway um other than all that nonsense um the signal is pretty cool still um it's definitely unique i don't think there will ever be a signal like this one um ever again or anywhere else and I do love the blue lens that uh, comes with this signal so really really awesome um, and hopefully I can get a little bit of a party mode set up on this thing and I can uh, party in my room I'm trying to dance on camera but that was not very good but yeah anyway uh, that's pretty much it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and, um, I don't know, what do you guys think of this signal? Do you think it's bad or good? I mean, I, I, I don't know, it's... If anyone actually, uh, knows anything else about this signal, uh, I'd like to actually know, um, just because, uh, just because of how bad this is, so I'd kind of like to know its production history. But, yeah, um, other than that, uh, that's really, I guess, it. But anyway, uh, stay tuned for more, and, uh, have a good day, guys, and have fun with your traffic lights. Goodbye.